Hello friends, welcome to another fantastic module of Moving Matchsticks. Till now you have lot many concepts in concern to repositioning of matchsticks, addition of new matchsticks. Now let's see what new is there in this module. In this module, the first concept is in concern to a newer number. Till now, all our questions were related to a single number 299. But now we are focusing a new number 582. So you can see 5 has been created using 5 matchsticks. 8 has been created by using 7 matchsticks. 2 has been created by using 5 matchsticks. But our task is to reposition 3 matchsticks and add one more matchstick so as to form the largest possible number. The moment I come to know that I have to reposition 3 and add 1, that means I can play with four matchsticks and allowance of four matchstick means I can create two newer digits. Those two digits would obviously be two ones. So you can see I have used the new matchstick and I have also used three matchsticks to create ones but one thing is pending. I have to pick three matchsticks which I have already used to create two ones. Now here lies the catch. From where shall I be picking those three matchsticks? Although the number 582 has got limited options of picking three matchsticks, but it is very important to know that there is a number 8 from where we can pick three matchsticks. And those three matchsticks are highlighted in red. The moment you pick these three matchsticks, you can see the magic. The magic is that now the net resultant is a six digit number. That is 511. 211. Now the net answer is 511211 which is the largest possible number. So the concept which we have learned through this particular question is that whenever there is a number 8 and you have to pick 3 matchsticks, so you should pick those 3 matchsticks like this. This will increase the size of the number to one more digit. I hope you must have got this concept. Let's move ahead. Now we are moving to a very beautiful case which is an exceptional case. We are again using the same number 299. The question says reposition two matchsticks and form the largest possible number. Most of you who have already gone through previous modules carefully would be thinking that okay this is the repetition of a question because we have earlier repositioned two matchsticks. But in those questions there was a constraint that we have to form a three digit number. But if there is no constraint and brainstorming is allowed, then obviously what I will do is, I will pick two matchsticks and I will place those two matchsticks onto the top, that is as an exponent. So you can see I have highlighted two matchsticks which I would be picking and I would be placing those to the power so that the net resultant is 294 raised to power 11. Many of you must be thinking that how can two ones be formed with the help of two matchsticks. But we all know that the power which is a superscript is smaller in size. And as it is smaller in size, so two ones require two matchsticks which we have picked from last digit 9 so that the largest possible number turns out to be 294 raised to power 11. So I believe this question must have created boom in your brain and must have ignited your brain, right? Let's move ahead. The next concept says that we have to pick minimum number of mass texts so that only four squares are left in the given diagram. So the first thing is that we need to know that how many squares are there in this beautiful diagram created through matchsticks. So if I count, I can see that there are six squares. Five are smaller squares. One, two, three, four, five, and then the bigger one. So in all, there are six squares which you can see. And the task is to pick minimum number of matchsticks so as to form four squares. Means only four squares should remain in this particular diagram. So what I will do over here is I will pick one matchstick. And how will I pick that matchstick? Like this. So one matchstick is gone and now only four squares are left. You can count one at the corner, 
two at the bottom and one over here. So total four squares are left by just picking one math stick. So the answer to the question is minimum number of math sticks required are only one. So this is a beautiful question where we are just picking up a math stick. There is no digit involved, but a diagram is there. So you all have learned lot many concepts in concern to moving math sticks. And now you can play around with these concepts. You can challenge your friend, take a match box, create a number, challenge your friend and win lot many prizes. Keep enjoying, keep brainstorming. Thank you.